I have always been fascinated by the mysteries of the human mind, but nothing could have prepared me for the groundbreaking work of Dr. Jacobo Greenberg Zilberbaum. This neuroscientist's journey into the realm of non-local consciousness challenges our very understanding of reality. Today we're diving into a world where science meets mysticism and where the boundaries of our minds may extend far beyond what we've ever imagined. Dr. Jacobo Greenberg Zilberbaum wasn't your typical neuroscientist. He chose to work extensively with shamans in Mexico, collecting vast amounts of data using electroencephalograph readings. But why shamans, you might ask? Well, these traditional healers have long claimed to tap into unseen realms of consciousness, and Greenberg wanted to put these claims to the scientific test. Now here's where it gets interesting. Greenberg designed an experiment that would make even the most skeptical scientist raise an eyebrow. He had two people meditate together for 20 minutes. Sounds simple, right? But then came the twist. The participants were separated into two different rooms, both shielded from all electromagnetic energies. One person was shown random flashes of light while the other was hooked up to an EEG machine. The person hooked up to the EEG showed a shock response perfectly timed with the other person's light flashes 25% of the time. A control group showed no such correlation. It was as if the minds of the paired subjects in the experimental group remained connected despite being physically separated. To explain these mind-boggling results, Greenberg proposed a theory that sounds like it's straight out of a sci-fi novel. He called it a holographic non-local lattice, a kind of invisible matrix connecting all of our minds. Imagine for a moment that our brains are like computers connected to a vast unseen network. This network, according to Greenberg, is the very fabric of consciousness itself. When our brains are free from interpretations like during deep meditation, we can tap into this larger field of consciousness. Now you might be thinking, this sounds too far-fetched to be true. But here's the thing. Other researchers started to find similar results. Take physicist Fred H. Theheld, for example. He used Faraday cages to isolate paired subjects whose EEG readings suggested the presence of biological non-locality. Charles Tart of UC Davis took it a step further. He monitored things like skin resistance, blood volume, and heart rate in response to small electric shocks in subjects who were separated by distance. Even when completely isolated, the receiver showed physiological responses that matched the sender's shocks. It's enough to make you question everything you thought you knew about the limits of human connection. But wait, there's more. Marilyn Schlitz and William Browd decided to test whether intention alone could influence someone from a distance. 57% of the time, their skin response showed a direct correlation with the influencer's intentions. Jean Achterberg took it even further. She had experienced healers send healing intentions to isolated receivers whose brains were being scanned by an MRI. Let's break this down. People's brains were reacting to thoughts sent from afar, without any known physical means of communication. It's like we're all part of some vast, invisible network of consciousness. Now let's talk about dreams. Stanley Krippner conducted a fascinating series of experiments over five years. He had influencers try to shape the dreams of sleeping receivers in separate rooms. When awakened, a statistically significant number of receivers reported dreams that correlated with the images sent by the influencers. It's as if our dreams are not just private movies in our heads, but potentially shared experiences connected through this invisible web of consciousness. This raises profound questions about the nature of our inner worlds and how they might be more interconnected than we ever imagined. Now you might be wondering, how is any of this possible? To understand that, we need to take a quick detour into the weird world of quantum physics. Back in 1935, Einstein, Podolsky, and Rosen proposed a thought experiment that later became known as the EPR paradox. They were trying to disprove the idea that particles could be entangled, meaning the state of one particle would instantly affect another, no matter how far apart they were. Let's dive deeper into this quantum rabbit hole. 
French physicist Alain Aspect conducted experiments showing that entangled particles communicate about 20 times faster than the speed of light. That's fast enough to make Einstein roll in his grave. His theory of relativity said nothing could travel faster than light. So, what does all of this mean? If Greenberg and these other researchers are right, we might be living in a reality far stranger and more interconnected than we ever imagined. Our individual minds might be like nodes in a vast cosmic network of consciousness. This could potentially help explain phenomena like telepathy, remote viewing, and even some aspects of quantum physics that have puzzled scientists for decades. As we've seen, the work of Dr. Greenberg and others challenges our understanding of consciousness and reality itself. From shamanic insight to physics, we're uncovering a world where minds can connect across space and time in ways we're only beginning to understand. The question now is, how will this knowledge shape our future? As we continue to explore these uncharted frontiers of the mind, one thing is certain, the greatest mysteries of consciousness are still waiting to be unveiled.